what a vegan dad eats in a day. <laughs> I'm sure this was entirely his idea. You know, I think there's something missing from that title, perhaps, while being held hostage by a crazy vegan wife. Women are far more impressionable than men, and I actually found out just today that 80% of vegans in the United States are female. If that doesn't prove they're more susceptible to propaganda, especially dietary, I don't know what does. And we know that women make the cooking, eating, food decisions for the husbands, for the children. Therefore, that poor dietary influence translates to the rest of the family. Let's see what's up. Every other vegan video on YouTube has this music. Today, it's a lovely day. I'm going for a quick 20 mile run to start the day. This is my toy going strong. A small 20 mile run? <laughs> this guy's nuts. There is a 100% chance this guy snaps his shit if all he's doing is drinking green juice nonsense. Diet devoid of animal protein, your body's not going to have the tissue to recover. You know, we spoke about this in the Game Changers, all of the vegan athletes that are so healthy magically break something within a year of going vegan. Good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. Today it's a lovely day in Chicago. We are way past the harsh winter that we've been facing for the past few weeks. Speaking of harsh winter, this guy was obviously, you know, not raised here. He has an accent or, or maybe his family just grew up speaking the language here. But the guy has excellent teeth, good facial development, especially compared to the average person now. I would be curious to that diet he was raised on and why he's sort of straight away from his heritage to follow this vegan nonsense. You know, we know all of these cultures loved me. They prize it in their cooking. And mommy is getting some work done, so I'm gonna be making some breakfast to Chelsea. Uh, Liam is gonna wait for milk a little bit. Liam, we're gonna get you some strawberry. We're gonna tie that into your, whatever that is. And Chelsea is cleaning up your strawberry. Just one more minute. You better rinse it in some chlorine from the tap water. You, you good, you good, you good, you good. It's good, I know. It's delicious. All right, Chess, are you making your smoothie? Yeah, pink smoothie. Yeah, pink smoothie? Oh, what? what happened? That's not good. That's not yeah. good? Okay, so what do we have here, girl? We have banana. And you're about to add the wild blueberry. That's it. Or oh, the green boost, okay? You know, you always hate to see the children in on this vegan nonsense. You know, they're far worse off than the average. You know, at least most American kids get some animal protein, but you know, that American diet isn't much better. You know, the state of physical development and health of everyone now due to poor childhood nutrition is referred to as genetics. You know, look in the wild, animals don't grow up to be, you know, weak and sick and in some cases ugly. You know, animals in the wild like that don't survive. These psychos in charge keep us stupid and sick through malnutrition. Part of that is brainwashing us through the media that they have complete control of, of what's healthy, what we should be eating. They've gotten us to believe that stuff that makes us sick is good for us. All right. It's so good. Okay, let me have you out. It's, it's quite deep now. There's not too much left. Can you hold the camera? So baby, hi, hi, my baby, Leah. 
little loud. Hello, my baby. Hello. You know, when I visited the Amish a couple months back, their kids were like stone quiet, so well behaved, not a peep. Hello, my baby and you, my Okay, Liam, do you want to take a seat? Little man, it's you already know how to yes, bring it some And he really, really nice If that baby is willingly drinking that green slop, he, poor thing is probably starving half to death. We've covered this before, but the only thing a child should be consuming until two or three years of age is the mother's breast milk. You know, with the mother following a diet very high in animal-based B vitamins and fatty acids, as those are what you need to develop. Think about it. What is you know human made of? Protein, fats, omega fatty acids in the brain. How is a baby going to make that from a sugary drink? You need to consume what the body is made of in order for it to develop. Chris yourself, Liam. Check this out. <laughs> Check this out. This is the first time that I'm giving him some money myself. Baby! Yes! Yeah, it's so cute! Look at you! Look at you, baby! Oh, boy, oh, boy. The guy, he draws almost everything. This is actually disgusting, especially if you understand a baby's natural instinct. The poor thing filled up his entire stomach and body to capacity with nutrient deficient green slop that will be coming out the other end undigested. How does a baby possibly drink a green smoothie that practically weighs as much as him? Unbelievable. This is insane. So this is insane. It is insane. Maybe they're just pretending. All right, guys, I'm going to be making here my breakfast. It's going to be for my post workout meal. I'm not in my feeding window yet. As you know, I've been doing a intermittent fasting. I fast for 17 hours and I have a seven hour window for eating. 17 hour fast on a vegan diet doing ultra marathons. <laughs> I'm surprised he's still walking. Making here a delicious overnight oatmeal. So I'm gonna make it, put it on the fridge and those are the component of this one here. There are going to be seven ingredients. We have the oatmeal itself, the chia seed, the raw agave to make it a little bit sweet. We have the flax meat in that case. We have the almond butter and I'm gonna top that with the blueberry. And I'm gonna also add some little bit of a yogurt. All right, so overnight oats, he basically just throws everything in a bowl, which is actually pretty bad because Normally, these types of plant foods are either cooked or fermented for long periods of time to reduce their anti-nutrient components. But if you're just throwing them raw in a bowl to soak, very, very stressful on digestion. Raw agave nectar, you know, despite being organic, agave is very high in saponins, toxic anti-nutrient. Whenever something has like a bitter or astringent taste, despite being a little sweet, like agave, you can tell there's something in it that your body doesn't want. It has to be palatable. It has to be tasty. Chia seeds, all seeds are very high in anti-nutrients. They tend to not be digested, but in some people with lower gut motility, they can kind of sit there and damage the gut and body due to their high anti-nutrient content, especially the mineral depletion. The oats are an okay source of caloric nutrition if they're prepared properly. You know, the anti-nutrients can be greatly reduced. They actually give the body something, macronutrients, you know, the carbohydrates, the fats, and the protein that are in the oats. Wild blueberries are okay on occasion, but think of that deep purple pigmentation. You know, it's kind of unnatural how it turns everything in our body blue. They're very seasonal and realistically shouldn't be consumed in a large amount, let alone daily. Almond butter, very high omega-6. You know, we actually just did a video yesterday on the downsides of nuts. We've spoken about peanut butter before, so definitely... Uh, check those out if you want an in-depth explanation of why those foods aren't good for you. Flax milk, and if there was a chance that chia seeds weren't harming his gut, this definitely will. You're basically extracting all of the anti-nutrients and harmful chemicals from seeds, you know, by blending them up in water. It's very high in lignans, estrogenic chemicals, and you're dousing your stomach in them because it's milk. 
you know, eating an almond or, or a nut or a seed or whatever, it's going to mostly go through your digestive system. But when it's liquid and it's over a high surface area, it's just incredibly damaging. And that peach coconut yogurt isn't actually that bad compared to everything else. You, know, you might have some chemical additives and the pesticide concerns if it's not organic. But it's, it's kind of crazy how they combine seven ingredients that are poisonous, bad for you, couldn't survive on into something somewhat edible. This is delicious, guys. Looks so good. Proteins, greens. Did he say proteins? <laughs> what proteins exactly? Is this guy going to change his mind about proteins after his leg snaps in half while he's on a run? It looks like quinoa, some type of hummus, avocado, cooked potato lots of greens yeah so overall if everything was organic if he didn't have the greens in here and there was a steak on the side it wouldn't be horrible you know it's not it's not too far off all the greens offer is high anti-nutrient content possibly some pesticide concerns the avocado potato hummus offer much higher caloric nutrition than you know the typical foods vegans eat these are actually rich in starch and fat Still probably not enough for his activity, but at least he's only depriving himself of vitamins, minerals, and animal protein as opposed to calories. It's, it's kind of sad, isn't it? It's like his crazy vegan psycho wife is filming him eating this meal, and she's looking at him with like bug eyes, like, you better enjoy this, you better eat this, you better like this, and you better not even think of an animal. <laughs> Nut jobs. Ah, tasty. Yum. Let some seaweed in there for the heavy metals. Someone joined Daddy's lunch. Yeah, he's really enjoying it. He's pushing it away. That was it. This is a Cameroonian based food. I grew up eating this. Which is made of, we have igusi here and a lot of mushroom. All right, so we're going to mix it up, mix the mushroom. It's a lot of mushrooms. What are they replacing the meat with the mushrooms? And we're gonna add some salt. It's ready to be packaged into those banana leaf. <laughs> so agusi is a nigerian dish that's primarily composed of like ground up seeds like melon seeds very high in anti-nutrients very damaging to the body but i'm sure there's some traditional soaking or fermentation preparation that makes it okay to consume doesn't appear like they did that here. Also worth noting that Agusi has meat or seafood added to it. So they basically made a vegan version of it and I, I can't imagine that tasting reasonable or good. Uh, so this guy is basically consuming carbohydrate and starch with a small amount of plant fats here and there. Uh, and I can't imagine he's going to be able to follow this diet for a long period of time. I mean, I don't believe her husband is actually vegan. Like maybe they're just filming a video for the day of like him following the diet for a day, but who knows? You know, all of these vegans are a bunch of liars and they might not start out as liars, but as they get really popular, as their channel grows, as their personal well-being and income depends on them being vegan, they will say or do anything. They will say or do anything. Uh, so I guess uh, maybe if you guys in Chicago attend any sushi restaurants you can definitely keep an eye out for this uh, vegan couple <laughs> you know it's discouraging to see the children brought into this and as veganism becomes bigger and bigger and bigger and a major component of the climate change propaganda nonsense you know as much as I would like to say you know it's not that big of a deal compared to how unhealthy everyone is now it just looks like it's growing so much to be in everyone's lives uh, so hopefully you guys can share this video 
on other social media, let people know that these psychos are out to make you healthy. <laughs> uh, so please leave a comment down below, drop a like on the video, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and make sure to hit that notification bell so that YouTube doesn't notify you of my videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Check out frank-stefano.com, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Music